Okay, hey guys, this is Tech of Home to the Nerd tutorial. Today we're gonna be learning how to build this Andre summary card component. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And let's start with the video. So this is a fundamental challenge. So I'm gonna leave the challenge startup files in the description down below. So you can go and download that files. And when you download that file, we're gonna start from the basics and beginning. So you are gonna have the image and some other assets as well. We have downloaded that file. This is what we're gonna have. So let's start building this right away. Without any further ado, like and subscribe and let's get on to the video. So we're going to remove this style attribution. This is, we're going to also go, we can comment this out, but we normally need this when we want to submit our challenge, but today I'm not going to be submitting my challenge. So as I always like to advise you guys to start with some kind of container, you know, go straight to the card like that. Then we're going to have a card inside of this. The card container is going to cover it. First of all, we're going to have the card top. This is for the image. So it's going to be blank. It's going to give us a it's going to be a background image to allow us to have more flexibility. Card body. Inside this card body, we're going to have a history, and inside this history, we're going to have the ordinary summary. Then next, we're going to have the P of paragraph tab. So this paragraph tab is from here to here. Okay, so after we have done this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have another section of inside this card body. So inside here, we're going to have is a div called outer div. Then inside of this div, we're going to have a card section. Then inside of here, we're going to have an image. And this is going to be dot slash images. Then is this is going to be the music that you see, the icon music.svg. I'm just going to say music.svg. The reason why people use all tags is because of sexual optimization. That is when you want to make your site public, as in for a production site. So class, we're going to do this guy h5-p, h5-p dash tag. So the h5 and p tag. Now instead of here, we're going to have a, a h5. Actually, this should, this is going to, this might even be a div. Manual plan and $59 a year. Cut that. So let's save this so we can probably see we have a div called um, outside div, then we have the card section. Then inside, then the card section is just for the image alone. Look, the card section is also have this span. So let's move that into that. Okay, the card section just for the image and the span. Then this outer div is going to have one last thing so the reason why for this arrangement is for flexbox so outside the card section we are going to have a span of change class of change so when we give the guy a display of flex these two containers are going to be flexed then this card section is also going to have a display of flex so we want to flex these two and flex these two and these two. So I mean that might that might be a bit hard to understand, but as you use flexbox more and more, you start to understand what flexbox is. So just just follow up the tutorial. So the next thing that we're gonna have is finally is the card footer. So card dash footer. Then what we're gonna have here is just simple a button and and a href. So button proceed okay let's just copy and paste it then finally we're going to have the a tag of to nowhere cancel order so we are done with the html already so all we have to do right now is to do the side is the css so if we come here we refresh okay we see that properly this is how everything should look. When we had CSS, now we're gonna see everything come out. So I'm gonna have a link of CSS to style.css. Then I'm gonna, oop, I already have a style.css here, which was the previous code for it. I'm gonna remove that. So I'm gonna start with the body. So inside this body, the body is the first thing that we're gonna start because it has some certain important styles. So what we're going to do is that. 
So what I'm going to the styles I'm going to apply to the body is that the body background color is not just white, it has a color in the style guide. The color is pale blue. Copy. Then when we come here, we're gonna paste it. Then we're gonna give it a font family because of system UI. So this would depend on your system. And the reason why I'm giving this is because it's really suitable font at the moment. So you also get a phone from Google Font. If you just save that and look at this right now in the browser, it just means something like this. So what we have to do, okay, so this is style with CSS. This is style. Save. Refresh. So it should look ahead like this. So that I told you the body background color is not white. So in the styles of CSS, what we do want to do now next is that we want to target the card container. So the reason why we put everything inside the container is to give it one central color. So we're going to give it a display or flex. Then to center it, I'm going to say just pie content center, align item center. This is just normal flex box terms. And mean height, 100 view height. Save. So this should center it anywhere in the center column. If you do not, if you're not still familiar with Flexbox, I know this thing might look a little bit confusing. You ask me for a Flexbox tutorial in the description down below. So, a come on, I'm gonna give this a width of 350 pixels and a background color of white. So, card normally do not normally pass 350 pixels. So, I'm gonna give it a border radius of 20 pixels for some rounded corner. And we can also give border radius if they, we don't we don't give it a border. So, I'm gonna give it a box shadow, and these are just coordinates. <laughs> For the shadow, the drop down shadow. This is the color. Zero comma zero comma zero comma one. Save. Then now that we can see that we have this faint shadow. Next thing that we're gonna target target the card top. We said that this card top is going to have the background image. So, so to do that, we can just say background image URL. And we don't have to put it in strings or anything like that. So we can just say images slash illustration hero that svg so refresh so it's not showing and that's the reason for that is that we're not giving this a definite height so these normally have a a width of one of 100 percent but they don't normally have a height and the height i'm going to use is 190 pixels so the the aspect ratio of the image is not done properly so these are the secrets of using a background property we have to give it some other background properties as well so we have to give it a background size of cover so that it probably takes so that the image is not stretched in any kind of weights all the image will show in the right aspect ratio then sometimes the image may repeat may repeat sometimes so you have to give it no repeat but in this case it's not repeating background there's also background position there to help us to position properly if it's not positioned properly okay, so this is all enough in this case but normally sometimes if it's a header image you're going to need to look so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to give it some rounded corners of border. So to do that, we say we did border. We can't just do border radius. We do border dash top dash left. So that border top left radius. We're going to give it ten pixels. Copy. And I'm going to say border right radius. We're going to give it ten pixels. Save. So we got that rounded corner there too. Maybe we can make this twenty pixels. Twenty pixels. So for the card body, card dash body, we're gonna give everything a padding, padding of 20 pixels, 40 pixels. So padding top, padding top, 20, padding, padding top and bottom 20 pixels, padding left and right, 40 pixels. As you can see that takes effect properly. So the next thing that we're gonna do to the text is that we're gonna we're gonna give it a text align of center that should center the text properly the next thing we're gonna target is the outer div the outer div is just a container that has the image and the annual plan stuff so as you already guessed it we're gonna use flexbox here to center everything to put everything in flex problem so just five content center center let's save this and look at this in the browser Okay, that's good. Everything is not quite coming out the way we want it to come out. So let's still continue giving some certain styles. So 
we also want to give the card section a display of flex so card section display flex let's look at that in the browser okay that's good then we want to give it an align items of center so so that is this that will cure the image of the image stretching and there's margin here from the h1 so we have to kill that off margin so card section h5 we're going to give it a margin of zero pixels save okay the p tag also has some margin so what uh, total target two properties we just say just put a comma in between them so card section paragraph as well so the paragraph side the card section and the h5 good so now that we have them properly flexed up the way we want to do we have, we have to give it a justified content of space between fresh so that space is between properly so we were able to pull that off that was some tricky flex box stuff there but you can see it's not centered properly so we want to give this outer div also an align items of center so basically what we did there was not really complicated these two guys this annual plan 15 dollars and this music are inside one separate div to flex them they will now put this guy as one to flex this guy so when we give it a align line of center it's going to center it there properly so that span tag that has the h5 and p tag so h5 h5 dash p dash tag right yep we're going to give it a margin left of 10 pixels so that we space it properly we can't use stretch box to do any more spacing good the outer div which has everything we're going to give everything a background of ghost white save boom so that has that background as you can see that background there is no padding inside so padding is space inside the box we're going to give it a padding of 20 pixels okay now that has some padding so everything is good so what we have to do is style the card footer so the card footer There's not going to be much styling in the card footer, but where all the styles are going to be concentrated from our the card footer button, because as you as always know, styling booters has never been an easy thing. So we're also going to use flexbox again. So I just like using flexbox. Let's give it a padding of twenty pixels. Display flex justify content center. But the difference that we're going to do here is so we're going to change flex direction because we don't want it to be like this. Easy. Is vertical as you can see here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to give it a flex direction so flex direction should be colon so if we save this and look at the browser that's probably colon then the dot card footer a so i'm going to give this guy a text online of center so guys do not forget to subscribe that's good then what we have, we have to also do is that we have to remove the text decoration the text decoration none uh color should be black and a padding top of 10 pixels save refresh nice then what we have to do is that we have to turn on this button so this button it's not going to be easy to style guys so this card footer button what we're going to do is to the button is that we're going to firstly set the cursor to pointer so that, that gives us a pointer cursor instead of a text cursor you can see right now it's currently this pointer cursor we're going to change it to it we do not save that save you can see now okay refresh you can see now it's it's cursor is pointer Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say padding, padding top and bottom 12 pixels. Yeah, so I'm going to give you padding top and bottom 12 pixels. The next thing you have to do for styling any other buttons, that you also have to give it a border of none and an outline of none. So outline is when you actually, is when the button state is active. Then I'm going to give it a background color. So that color is in the style guide again, bright blue. Okay, that's it. 
then we're going to give it a color of fff then a border radius of 10 pixels a border radius of 10 pixels as well as a width of 100 percent so width 100 percent save then if we look at this right now should have something like the uh, so the pattern is not done properly oh we just gave it only padding top or to just be padding top and bottom 12 pixels okay if you give it padding top, it's always going to padding everywhere 12 pixels so let's just specify zero pixels for the left and right okay nice so the next thing that we're going to do is the d we have a a type class of change that we want to change the color of so we want to give the color a color of this guy then we're going to give it a text decoration of line of underline then if we save it here you can see this was what we we're talking about and we can also give that guy a cursor of pointer cursor pointer cursor of pointer so i've done everything exactly the way it was but this guy i think this guy is uh he's can see this guy has a point weight of bold So in the card footer, you are going to give it, I think, font weight of border. Font weight border. Fresh. So it's pretty nice. We have managed to replicate design. If you look at the design right here in the desktop preview, our design, they're pretty identical. That's it for this tutorial, guys. So if you enjoyed the tutorial, please like and subscribe. And let's end the video.